take the take the outer bearing and the washer off first. Put the net right. Brake pad wear indicators, red, yellow, green, obviously. Brake pad thickness, it's this thick, it's going to be red. Basically, a good rule of thumb is if the brake pad is the same thickness as the backing plate itself, brake pad's considered worn out. Um, we talked a little bit about a hub cleaner on, on cars. We need to make sure the mounting surface that the wheel goes back onto is clean. So this is the hub cleaner. It simply fits over. You put on your impact gun. That's going to clean the studs. This will clean in between. So we want to make sure this area is all free of debris. Anything that's sitting here will make the brake, I'm sorry, will make the wheel uh, not true with the surface. So again, this is just slides over, cleans the interior, stuff like that. Uh, we have some brake lubricant. This will go on the brake pad itself. It's not just grease, this is a special lubricant that holds it to higher heat. So this will go on the brake pad itself, keeps it from squeaking. Um, we have brake pad, brake pad uh, depressor. This is pushed the piston back inside the brake caliper. So this is a nice ratcheting one. We also have the old school the screw in type. I'll show you back on the car. We turn this in, push it on the piston, and push the piston back in. And put on. Keep the tip of the seal puller, put it in there, and just by prying it out, you can pop it out. Okay. That way it's much easier, no special tools needed. That was an option. Um, part of a brake job and part of our quick loop that we're going to do tomorrow. This is, what is this called? Right in your caliper, right? So it's a Vernier caliper with some adapters on it, it's got two points. Typically a Vernier caliper has just got the straight edge. This has been adapted so we can measure the thickness of the brake rotor. And the reason it's got the tips is because a lot of times the brake rotor is scored up and we, we need to be able to get to the bottom of that groove that's in there and that's what the tip will allow us to do. If we just simply measure the, the rotor without getting into that groove, we're not measuring the true depth of the rotor because we need to cut the rotor back down to the exact deepest groove. This is another similar tool. This is for measuring brake drums. We can measure a brake drum on the back of the car. We can measure it and also set up our adjustment. If I had a brake drum here, I could set it up to where this thickness here. If this was the width of the brake drum, it fit over this way. When I go to the car and the brake shoes, as long as they fit in here, we're in proper adjustment. So it's used two sides. Internally, inside the brake drum, and then externally two races. This is one the outer race, this is the inner race. So we need to be able to get from one side to the other and tap it out with a chisel. That will be the easiest way. And then we'll be able to install it with our bearing installer. So everybody can't see it, but there's a little bit of a lip in there that I'll be able to catch. We're going to catch the lip with the tip of our chisel. That's going to simply tap it out.
Yeah, you can still tighten it more. I'm just going to go right about there where it's not. Um, the race, keep it as straight as you can. Definitely.